darling. That is just sick. <laughs> Seek help. Getting too close to the client, media room slash dungeons, and the art of networking. Today we're gonna to be reacting to some hilarious and maybe even inappropriate real estate scenes from Two and a Half Men. What kind of real estate shenanigans are Charlie and his family gonna get us into? I'm not sure, but we're about to find out. But before we do that, I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. If you wanna learn more about real estate and tour some awesome properties, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's bring on Two and a Half Men. You seen that statuesque woman over there? She built a children's hospital in Guatemala. Yeah, and? I'm trying to sell her home. Kind of hard to put a good spin on media room slash dungeon. Media room slash dungeon. Yeah, I'd probably stick with the media room. I know we've had a couple of really funky houses in the past. There was one that was really cool though, because you went down the spiral staircase and to your immediate right was this big like globe type piece of artwork made out of marble and just cool but you actually would touch it and the door would spin and it would spin around and you would open it up and you walked into a media room. Good to see you, dear. You look marvelous. Our heroin out Let me ask you something. Hmm. If you don't like any of these people, why do you come to these things? Charlie, do you read the paper? Do you have any idea what the Los Angeles real estate market is like now? Can't say I do. Hey, how are those feet feeling? You wanna put your shoes back on? <laughs> is selling unless they have to, which means I have to be out working these rooms every night to learn who's getting divorced, who's dying, who can't make bail, whose crappy sitcom got canceled. <laughs> Let's face it, I'm not a young woman anymore. I mean, in the old days, I could find out all that stuff at home on my back. <laughs> we have real estate agents that are, are very similar to her. They're constantly either talking about or talking bad about someone in order to get that or this or that. That's not the way that you get business. Just getting out and meeting people in a good way, sporting events, gyms, and just being in and around the neighborhood, giving back, doing charity type stuff. That's kind of the way that I'll meet a lot of my clients. And then you sell someone a house, if you do a good job, they're gonna refer you. And so it's kind of a repeat referral type thing. That's kind of the way that I do my business. Evelyn. Margaret, good to see you. How's married life? Oh, just one long honeymoon. <laughs> That's because she bangs a different groom every night. So cool. I have actually shown a gentleman who's extremely successful, very good looking dude, a couple different properties. And it was a couple month process. And every time we would get out of the car or I would meet him at a property, it would be a different girl. <laughs> and so I'm trying to play it off like, cool. Oh, have I met you before? Have I not? Was this the one from last week or is it not? I would just be like, hey, what's going on? Hey, let's, let's go check out the house. I thought you were in Dallas. I was. I got a phone call telling me to come home and check on my wife. A phone call? That's not important. This marriage is over. I want you out of my house. Well, I'm not leaving. You're gonna have to because I'm selling. In this market, are you crazy? I've got a great realtor, and she assures me she can get top dollar. You've already talked to a realtor? Who do you think called me in Dallas? And she's not just my realtor. She's my friend. Oh, Mom. I don't know about you, but I've been in Charlie's shoes a, a few times, and... I, I seem to remember one time, especially when I was from Alaska, that it was extremely cold and I had to sneak out. And luckily I had my boots, but it was just boots, boxers, and a uh, light jacket. So the other stuff I, I got later, but yeah. T tell me in the comments below if you ever had to sneak out of a house and it wasn't a pleasant experience. Hello, Alan. If you wanna see Jake, he's taking a bath. Oh, actually, as much as I'd love to spend time with my grandson, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Charlie's house, it's kind of got an interesting little flair. It's got like a little bit of a Spanish vibe to it. It's got kind of a Mediterranean, kind of like you're almost in the Amalfi Coast, but then he's got some big furniture. I kind of would envision him more of a real clean contemporary style in Malibu or whatever body, you know, he's on the Pacific somewhere, but what do you think at Charlie's house? Do you like the style or do you not like the style? Tell me in the comments below. Charlie, need to borrow your Mercedes. Well, since you're in a hurry, I'll give you a quick answer. No. <laughs> Charlie, please, I'm showing a house in half an hour. What's wrong with that little electric car you bought? Oh, nothing. My 
know, it's fine. It's hip. It's what anybody who cares about this planet is driving. But if you're trying to sell real estate to a Saudi oil prince, you can't be driving up in some little toy car with a plug in the bumper. <laughs> So now you see electric cars everywhere. They're beautiful. So you pull up in a test and you're like styling. I remember a while back, I was thinking about getting into a Prius. My wife has said, you're absolutely crazy. We're not getting a Prius to show real estate. Dress for success, drive a nice car. You could use my car, mom. You see, now that is how a loving son treats his mother. Thank you, sweetheart, but I need to look successful. <laughs> That's so classic. I'm just trying to think about my sons. Like, I'm like, hey, why don't you just use that? Ooh, dad, really? That's so 2021. I'm like, but we just bought you that cool baseball bat or something. Oh no, we gotta have the new travel bat, whatever. I left a $300 bra in the backseat of your Mercedes and I want it back. So I mean, obviously you look out, you see this incredible view that Charlie has. This particular home would probably sell for about eight and a half, nine million dollars in La Jolla. There are some 30, 40 million dollar homes in and around the area. Obviously they get a little bit more expensive as you work your way up in Malibu, Newport Beach, stuff like that. LA tends to have the more expensive Ocean fronts. Oh my, how in heaven's name did that happen, mother? <laughs> when you look behind Charlie, he's got that, it's almost like that scuba tank that probably weighs about 150 pounds. And you know, they, I know divers used to use those way back in the day. That's the nautical theme I think he's going for. Well, if you must know. I don't need to know. <laughs> oh, Alan, grow up. I sold a $12 million house and I wanted to celebrate. With the Saudi prince? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. He's got nine wives and they're all like 11 years old. <laughs> no, I, I was with the seller's realtor. Splitting that juicy commission made us both so hot we barely made it off the front lawn. Charlie's like, whatever, the playboy hanging out. Oh yeah, here goes mom again. And Alan's like, oh gross. Like I can just see him like literally wanting to run in his room and put the, the pillow on top of his head. You know the funny part, she's talking about the splitting commissions and this and that and putting deals together and making stuff work and hooking up with agents. It's never best practice to connect with people that you're trying to do a deal with. Now go get mommy's bra. Darling, that is just sick. <laughs> Seek help. I could never, ever like do that with my mom. I'm kind of in between Charlie and Alan where I'd be like, it's in the back of the car, mom, go grab it. Here's the keys and or I'll grab it, toss it in a bag and give it to mom. So I don't know if I would use mom as my realtor. Um, she'd probably try to hook up with whoever um, is doing the deal. Charlie, he's like, I don't care, mom, just make some money. Alan's like, mom, make some money, but please don't tell me the details. This show is definitely has some questionable real estate ethics. It's what makes it hilarious, huh? What other real estate clips from shows should I check out in the future? Please let me know in the comments below and make sure you binge watch the entire playlist right here. Smack that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching.